After going 5-8 and eight in a 13-game stretch against teams below 500, there is not much confidence following the Cardinals around right now. But the good thing about baseball is there's always a game waiting the next day to get back after it. It would help the Cardinals, though, if their next games were against the best team in baseball. Let's go to San Francisco for an early game today against the Giants at beautiful Oracle Park. Kwang Young Kim on the mound. He gets out of a few situations early. Double play here in the second. Carpenter Sosa Goldschmidt ends the inning. Then in the third with a runner on, he K's. Tyro Estrada ends that inning too. Right now it's currently scoreless in San Francisco. Cardinals still looking for the first hit. Some sad news out of the hockey world today. Columbus Blue Jackets goalie Matisse Kivlenix died on Sunday in Michigan after being hit in the chest by a firework mortar. He was just 24 years old. Tonight on Five on Your Side, Oakville's Pat Maroon goes for a little history. He and the Tampa Bay Lightning will try to close out the Montreal Canadiens in Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Final. Maroon will become the first NHL player ever to win three consecutive cups, doing it with two different teams. He's not taking anything for granted. We know we're going to get their best, uh, and we're going to come offline too. So we know we're going to get their best game. We always say the fourth is the hardest to win. Um, it would be an amazing accomplishment, that's for sure. So still lots of work to do for our team and uh, myself. So, you know, we know tonight's going to be a tough battle. The ageless Roger Federer continues to march toward a ninth title at Wimbledon. He's in the near court, showed no resemblance to a 39-year-old. What a wicked forehand. Federer became the oldest man in the modern era to advance to the quarterfinals. He beat Lorenzo Sanago in straight sets. That'll do for sports and back to you.